Uh, Jalen Santero starts with a flea flicker touchdown, gets Bellevue on the board early. Trent Stan with the touchdown, 7 0. But here comes Parrish Campbell Jr. Coach, he's fast. If we learned anything this afternoon, speed kills. Yes, sir. Right. You cannot, cannot contain that kind of speed. Four, seven yard <laughs> touchdown to tie it up at seven. He had a buck 65 and three touchdowns. Here's Clayton. A buck 65 and three touchdowns. What a day. Oh my God. If I must say so myself, that was a day. So Paris is first boy in my family in about 27 years. From the beginning of time, he's always kind of been into everything. He always excelled, he did well, he always advanced. Paris played t-ball, he played coach pitch baseball, he played basketball, any sport that was available, I signed him up for it. I didn't know what he would do well in, but I knew that I had a little boy with a whole lot of energy and I needed to do something with him. The famous quote of our family that she said was like, I bought you those cleats, like you gonna play. <laughs> I mean, that's something I thank her for um, every day because I mean, if I would have quit, I wouldn't be where I am today. Uh, I want to say I was six when I started playing football. They tried me at quarterback at first, and that didn't go too well because I just wanted to run the ball. I wasn't throwing the ball to anybody. I actually remember, like when I was younger, probably like nine or ten, and I like really started to like get into football. Like I remember people like just in the city of Akron just always tell my mom like, "Oh, person's gonna go to the NFL," and for people to be saying that back then, like I think that's kind of like just what made me like just want to stick to it and keep playing. Paris was two when his dad and I divorced, so it was just me and him. That's my girl, that's my world. She raised me with the help of my grandparents, but she was a single mother. She one of a kind, man. Like, she was that mom that if I'm doing the right thing, she's giving me praise, but you know, once I got off the rails and once I was going the wrong way, like, she made me snap back in shape like real quick, real fast. He never wanted me to be disappointed. And as a result of that, I think that's what really kept him on the right path. You know, she's raised me to be the man that I am today, uh, to be the father that I am to my kids and to be the husband that I am to my wife. All her the world. And I'm gonna give it to her one day, one day soon. So I was born and raised in Akron and we've just kind of always been in this area. I've never wanted to be anywhere else because this was always home. Well, the city of Akron is, like, the first word that comes to my mind is prideful. And uh, I think that's what makes us a great city. Like, I mean, just being in the city of Akron itself, like, I mean, you can ask anybody in the city, like, it's a rough city. I remember living in my mom's old house. We lived down the street from the halfway house. I remember, like, every day coming home, like, being kind of worried, like, hey, the halfway house down the street, like, you know what I mean? Like, I remember a guy from the halfway house breaking into our house. Like, it's a rough neighborhood. I don't want to say we was living in two different worlds, but I also just remember how my family like made sure we had the best. They made sure we was on the right path. Where we come from, it's not a horrible place to live, but it is a bit difficult. But I wanted him to have the interaction with inner city as well as the best education possible. So for me, I knew I would have to pay for him to go to Catholic school and that was perfectly fine with me. And I think that's kind of what grounded him. It's my roots, like this is where I come from. When somebody asks me where I'm from, like I don't miss that opportunity to, to rep my city, you know what I mean? And everything that you know has gotten me to this point is because of where I come from. I'm gonna just hit him with the yeah, I remember being in y'all shoes. No matter. It's a basketball team, right? No matter how many times you get knocked down. Baked? Baked spaghetti. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, Watson. They said they didn't get Watson. Right. Be back shortly. So just pulled up to the best high school in the land, Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. About to go to the 
basketball state send off. Uh, gonna say a few words, but yeah, man, back home, back where it all started. Uh, so I'm excited. Let's go. What up, man? Hey. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? I'm good, man. Good to see you, man. Oh my god. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Appreciate it. How's life? It's good. Doing all right. Father of two. I know. I so. How you doing? Say, well, you on that brand, bro? James time, man. Uh, what you, no, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. Good? Yeah, I feel good. real good. If you ask people like around today, they'd be like, "Oh, Paris got recruited to go to St. Vincent Mary," but I did not get recruited to go to St. Vincent Mary. Like St. V in itself, like once LeBron and his crew went through St. V, I think just everybody wanted to go to St. V at that point. Oh, like just me being a LeBron supporter, like seeing what he did for the city and how he made it. I mean, it's, it was like a no-brainer for me. Like, I always wanted to go to St. V. Shoot, I remember growing up and Bron being at St. V, him going to Akron U, selling out games. Uh, like, I used to always want to go to his games and just watch him. I low-key became a basketball fan because of LeBron. Like, I mean, I think every, every kid in the city around that area did. To get even, you know, a simple nod from Bron, like, I mean, that's everything, you know, coming from this city. People look up at him, he's, I mean, he's an idol in the city and uh, the things that he's done for the city and giving back, like, he, he never forgets where he come from. I mean, it's love. This city stick together, that's for sure. What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing? What's up, man? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, man. You <laughs> still got that picture of you, man. What? You know the picture of you when you was a freshman? Uh-huh. Oh, he was like, he was, he was like, he was 10. <laughs> he was like, yeah. I basically was. Shoot, right. you know. Yeah, yeah, you know I was. Too, right? Yeah. Fast forward to high school years, he started St. V at the age of 12. So needless to say, that was really a hard pill to swallow because who sends their 12 year old to high school? <laughs> Looking back to high school, it's funny because I would say like my career has been the same at every level of football that I've ever played. Like even dating back to like Pee Wee football. The first two years never go really good for me. Like, I get down in the dumps, I want to quit, and then it turns around. But, I mean, a big reason that I didn't quit is my family. It's nice having an older brother that's so much older than me because, like, he's just such a good role model in everything that he does. So, my son and my daughter are a little over 11 years apart. Like, 11 years, that's a long time for my mom, you know what I mean? Like, but, like, as she just got older, I think, like, me and her became, like, really, really close. Watching him play in the NFL, it shows that when you have a dream, you can really accomplish whatever you want to do. So that shows me that I can do whatever I want to do. So I play violin, piano, ukulele, guitar, and clarinet. Music is how I express myself. It helps me express who I am. All we've known, you know, for as long as I've been alive is football, sports, like that's, that's, that's all our family has been. So dry it brings a different dynamic to our family. I just think it's so cool. Like the fact of playing an instrument, like how hard that is and that she's 13 years old and she plays five of them, like that's unheard of. And I think that's special. I think that's unique. When I'm playing, it's like nothing else around me is even there. It's like, I am the music. I think the biggest one that inspires me is uh, Blackbird by the Beatles. The lyrics are, Blackbird singing in the dead of night, take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arrive. And it just shows me that you can be broken or whatever, and you can grow and be strong. Every single time Paris has gotten knocked down, he's gotten back up. My brother literally shows me what the word persevere means. He's always gotten back up. So that's the biggest example for me. <laughs> no, nah, we started this, man, just kind of, just everything that I've kind of been through and okay. just kind of get the people a little background and it ain't always, you know, flowers and roses, man. It's like, you know how some people, like, they deal with injuries and it's like, it's like self-inflicted when they pulling hamstrings because they ain't body ain't right. right. Mine has all been broken bones, freakish, like, yeah. accident. Like, right. Cause I tell you, like, it's, it's been a battle, like, mentally. 
But man, it, like my faith, like it's never like it's been as strong as as it, as it is. People are always like, well, you know, what? I think it's over. Like it ain't over. It just not getting started. <laughs> Uh, I'm good, man. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. Just gotta stay there. Just gotta stay there. That's it. Sincere. Stop playing. Boy, you stick to that hoop, man. Stick to that hoop, man. Stick to that hoop, man. You know that. Come on now. He, hey, he don't. Where the confidence Oh, man. You too. Great scene. You too. All right, my boy. Go crazy, bro. Go crazy. I will. I will. Yeah, I'll do. 18 yards away. For real? That's what's up, man. What, what grade you in? I'm a senior. Oh, oh, so it's over with. So I ain't got to worry about you no more. All right, bet, 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 bet. <laughs> How you been, though? I'm great. Good? How are you? I'm fine. Man, just, you know. Just looking back at high school, like, as a freshman, I expected to play varsity. That didn't happen. I was on a freshman team. I was upset about it, like, Went back and forth with my mom, like, I don't think this is something I want to do. Like, I don't want to be a freshman team. Like, they don't they don't see my potential. They don't see my value. Like, I, it was just something that I battled myself with. She made me stick through it. Um, I ended up getting called up to varsity at the end of freshman year. And then that's kind of where things just, like, took off for me. Started breaking records. And, I mean, I guess the rest is just history. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Paris, Campbell. He's fast. You cannot contain that kind of speed. St. Vincent, St. Mary's wins its fifth state title in school history. Man, I don't know what to say. I'm a champion. Two times, two rings. That's a stank, don't it? Get it! Two times! Yeah, somewhere over there. There you are. Yep. Oh, somewhere. Right there. So we won our first state championship my junior year. That was the biggest moment in the city at that time, in Akron, Ohio, that was the biggest moment. Just because St. Vincent St. Mary hadn't won a state championship since 1988. And for us to win that, it just brought so much light to the school, so much light to our football program, and so much light to the players on that team. That was definitely a Kickstarter for not just myself, but you know our whole program and the whole city, really. Here we go. The kid right here, man. Got my little stash. I can't believe they let me have that. We were supposed to, sh we had to shave. They let me get away with that. My locker right here, still got my name plate, cemented in history. I knew exactly where the locker was. I don't forget, you don't forget stuff like that, man. Shout out my boy, Duran Grant. Me and my little bro, Brandon Bischoff. I made Brandon wear that number because I wanted someone good to wear my number. I wanted him to carry the legacy on, and he did that. You won two football state championships. Two football state. But your sophomore year, though, they, you went to the regional final. I lost to Chagrin Falls. Correct. And you won back-to-back -back state championships. Undefeated senior season. Correct. So you went to the state final in some sport every year. Every year. So it was, but it was only one year. Well, Actually no. Was hot. No. We won a, I won a state championship every year. That's what I'm saying. Because even freshman year, you won basketball. And we track. Track. You were on relay, right? Mm -hmm. The GOAT Springer coach. Yes, sir. My, my dog, you know, JV. It's a little bit. Yes, What's going sir. on this year? Uh, my little dog. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, everybody knew I was fast. Like, I was a track guy. I was a track kid. Like, everybody in the city knew that. That's what I did. D Rich TV here with St. Vincent St. Mary athlete, Paris Campbell. Man, how you doing today? Doing pretty good, man. Got done with track practice. Doing good. Paris Campbell right there in lane four. Paris Campbell will take the gold. What's your, what's your fastest time this year, man? 100, 200? Uh, 100 fastest time, 10, 5. Uh, 200 fastest time, 21, 9. That's what's up, man. That, that's, that's blazing speed right there, man. I got one of you guys. Ah, Coach, yeah, you can't get me down. I got to stretch. Now I'm old. I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't just, I can't just pop out there no more. I gotta, I gotta warm up, stretch, all that. That, that one, and then uh, the 221.27. Oh no. That's in the, in the school? Huh? Like in the whole school? That's, That's the fastest. 21. <laughs> Two! Think about you as a product of your own environment. I Meaning you came from this, you know how hard it is to, no, I to know. get ready for this or do this. So you only gonna appreciate it. Yeah, more. 100%. We were on track, and we see Paris as a big inspiration. Inspiration! What next to win? Like, coming from where we come from, not a lot of people make it out, man. There's a lot of talent in here. It's, it's a lot of 
people that can make it out, but it just don't happen. I'm probably going to the city and uh, to be one of the ones that, you know, I guess quote unquote made it out, but still got a chance to do some big things for the city. Like I'm grateful for that. I take that as an honor. Can I have everyone's attention, please? This is our boys' 18th trip to the state since 1972, and they are chasing their 10th state championship. So, boys. It's good to be back home, man. Uh, I miss this place. Uh, I mean, it's not a day that, that goes by that I don't think about this place. Um, this place has taught me a lot of stuff, man. It kind of built me into the man I am today, uh, and I'm forever grateful for it. Uh, I'm honored to stand in, between, in, in front of y'all right now uh, as y'all about to go to states. I've been there, I've been in y'all's shoes, won state championships here. And uh, one thing I can say, man, it's, it's something you for, remember forever. Like a state championship in high school, these championships right here with your brothers, the closest ones that you're gonna be friends with these guys forever. Like y'all gonna remember that for a lifetime. That is gonna be gone, bro. So don't take it for granted, man. Proud of y'all. Honored to be back home. Love y'all. So we went back to my high school, my roots, where it all started. Um, got to see a lot of familiar faces. Uh, a lot of people that helped shape me to be the man I am today. A lot of relationships, a lot of love in that school, a lot of memories in that school. Um, it was good to go back. I'm glad I got to go back. I missed that place. Uh, and it's funny because every time I go back, like, I just, I never want to leave. So uh, it was good to, good to get back.